Hey you guys, what's going on? It's Klaus and thank you so much for tuning in to this episode of Let's Play Town Hall 8. We're going to be doing something special and that is a one hour barge and chill. Guys, I've had a lot of positive responses on my one hour barge and chill episodes. I wanted to do one on this Town Hall 8 today. So, we're going to be doing a one hour barge and chill episode. We're going to be boosting these barracks for one hour. So, grab your iPad and your charger, put on your, uh, well not your headphones, but play some music off your phone in the background and let's enjoy a boost together. So, right now, the boosting is still one gem because it is a winter update so i'm gonna be enjoying a discounted boost you guys probably won't because you'll likely watch this later on but let's get this thing started one gem boost and now we have one hour to barch and chill guys so i also like to bring some lightning spells and an earthquake spell whenever i barch uh whenever i boost barch i do have a few minutes before my barch is ready so i wanted to show you guys my war attack we're in the middle of battle day right now against duhawk king war and uh two in is actually in right now but i wanted to show you guys my attack i'm ranked 30 and i hit rank 30 i used a mass hog raid and the reason for that is because it's it's very simple guys at tunnel eight you, you basically have two attack strategies you really need to use uh mass hog works for me nearly every time again depending on the base this uh this clan's not entirely uh anti three star savvy so what what ended up happening is i i see all these blank spaces and there really aren't that many blank spaces and those are the dangerous parts of a town hall eight raid with hogs you don't want to run your your hogs right into a blank space without a heal spell because it's either gonna be well there's three options it's either gonna be a giant bomb a tesla or nothing if it's a giant bomb or a tesla you might have a problem giant bombs worse than a tesla you also want to heal around your wizard towers and your bomb towers in this base it just it was just obvious i mean there's either teslas or bombs in those core spaces and the wizard towers and bomb towers are together you don't want to have your wizards and your bomb towers together and you don't want your giant bombs in obvious places so i went ahead and attacked this i lured the clan castle dragon and balloon no big deal we're gonna pull out we're gonna let the uh, dragon and balloon come over and we're gonna kill this art the uh the dragon in the balloon with one poison spell because that's really all you need but down a few archers for distraction put down your wizards to take out the dragon in the balloon and obviously you want to put down more archers for def for uh distraction you really can do this with barbarians too in fact it might be preferred but it's all good so i went ahead and put down some hogs giant bomb on the outside too what is up with that but it's okay so we got our hogs coming in a um a tesla in the blank spot but i went ahead and healed them anyway because they are right in the way of uh two wizard towers i also started my uh my hog deployment over here on the right as well we hit a freeze trap earlier but it was not a big deal um and I didn't even need to heal anything because they got through that wizard tower so quickly. I will heal, wheel heal over here next to this um, bomb tower and this wizard tower. I had some clan castle hogs as well. We're going to take out all these defenses. Everything's in a heal spell right now. That is how tunnel eight is right now. Hogs in a heal spell, three star. That's how it is. So um, uh, we got one more heal spell. Didn't even really need it, it looked like, but I went ahead and used it because I, I don't really get anything out of swagging heal spells on a town hall eight. Um, so I threw down these hogs are going to take out this king. No big deal. And all the hogs are all around the base. Now I used my king earlier as a distractionary measure. So what you can do is you can, you can be dropping your hogs, you know, around the base in a in a particular path put the the king in front just to distract a few defenses i mean it works that way and he starts working on cleanup so all the defenses are down we'll quad speed our way through and actually watch this giant bomb at the very end outside giant bombs really don't do any good you know it really doesn't do any good so that was my three star in the war and uh i think i'll do some uh, more uh technical stuff with town hall 8 war in the next episode of our let's play but for now our uh barch is working right now how did two and do how did two and do he got a three star that is what's up that's what i like to see and uh yeah we're looking like we're doing pretty good. Seven attacks, 16 stars. What is that? Seven, 14, 20. Just between two and three stars per attack. That's pretty nice. Uh, they're averaging just under two attack or two stars per attack. So, uh, you know, not too bad. 
Anyway, less than a minute before we can go out and do our first bar trade. I'm sorry, guys, I wasn't prepared. But, ooh, oh, oh my goodness, guys. All right, so this one gem boost. If we click the little thing right here, one gem army boost. We got two days and 12 hours left before that's over with for me currently as I record. And uh, Ice Wizard is out as well. I still haven't really done the challenge, but I will eventually. But, guys, if I go into my progress base, oh, there's a tree what is going on? Oh, okay, okay. Let me get rid of let me get rid of these things for a second here. All right, so we got eight, seven, six, five, four. How are we doing? We got twenty eight seconds. All right, so just I'll show you the progress base in a minute because you're all going to be hanging out with me for an hour. But look at this. We've got a ring of dark level eight walls all the way around the base. How do you suppose I did that, huh? One hour boost. I mean, I, I literally all throughout the New Year's weekend, I just one hour boosted randomly whenever I had time. And I was able to get so much gold. I pretty much maxed out my gold storage every single time I went out and raided and uh, did a one hour boost. So hopefully we had the same luck that I had last time because it was awesome. And um, I think the problem is going to be this Christmas tree. I got a new Christmas tree spawn in the middle of everything. I'm going to get rid of it. Don't freak out. I'm going to get rid of it because I've already got two and I like where at least one of them is so i'm gonna get rid of this christmas tree while that's happening let's go out and let's find a base now our first barch base hopefully we can find a monster but i'm not going to be all too all too picky um I, I i usually hit about 250,000 gold each per raid um sometimes looking for more there we go okay dead town hall nine 358,000 gold and it was the third search we're having good luck already so let's uh let's take out this wizard tower first just to make sure that we take it out because it's pretty pretty high level actually and then let's also take out this king we'll use some barbarians and some archers and because this is a dead town hold nine it has a little bit more firepower than normal so i'm going to be a little bit more um specific with how i lay down my troops here uh two finger deployment on either side i only need one i'm only prioritizing gold guys you have seen i have a lot of elixir and i have no way to spend it so we'll put down our uh, barbarians and archers we'll check up that group is good this group is working go buddies go nice all right sweet so we got all that gold this group is done we got all that gold oh wow there is a gold mine in the middle of everything we might have to oh we don't have any lightning spell that's not good okay well that's that's okay we're gonna be fine let me drop my uh barbarians and my archers there i've got my king i might i might be able to grab all that gold over there on the in the on the north side of the base there but anyway lots of gold in this uh mine here and now let's prioritize this gold mine here i don't know if i'm going to be able to do it but i'm going to try all right so barbarians down in mass archers down in mass as well no heal spells no lightning spells no nothing all right so our king level 10 king baby upgraded him last time we had a town hall eight let's play it was awesome now if we can get the king to go into this base quickly we will be in good shape uh if we can take out that mortar we'll be in even better shape all right cool so the next thing is i'm going to pop my king's special ability as soon as he gets through the wall in hopes of not losing him although he's not all, all that important all the time all right cool hundred thousand gold in that gold mine and we're gonna get it man that was awesome we got a hundred percent of the gold i'm gonna close out we lost the battle but that's okay Three hundred fifty-eight thousand gold what can i say man what can i say that was just about as good as it gets right there i like that all right cool so barch is still training up it's going to continue for an hour and uh our first raid was a complete success so at this point i can go into my progress base because that christmas tree is gone and look at this guys look at our progress base i've got all my walls lined up you guys know the drill by now it's like episode 15 or something but um this little notched wall here used to be here okay and this was the end of our level eight walls last episode and again it's only been a few days hadn't been that long all right and i was able to i managed to to max out these are max walls for 10 8 by the way i managed to do an entire line and a half i think i did like 70 walls over the weekend and now all that's left is pretty much two full lines which is 88. all right so let me let me make sure i'm right 88 probably maybe 90 okay so we have 90 level 7 walls left and last episode we had like 160 so um, this has been a, an incredible weekend for farming walls all right so what else we got two minutes before the barch is ready and I, I mean i just have to say that barch lately in uh like 15 14 15 1600 trophies as a town hall 8 has been absolutely gorgeous guys i have loved every second of it and um i'm gonna i'm gonna max out these these walls guys it's gonna be incredible um today oh oh also in other news builder's hut 
Number five, guys, I gave in. I went into my shop and had that special. If I click treasure, no, wait, wait, resources. You see that builder's hut little icon up there? Well, I had a special offer, and that offer was $19.99. I got 2,000 gems, and I got another builder's hut. Actually, I think I got 2,500 gems. I'm not sure. but So I got a bunch of gems and my fifth builder's hut, and I couldn't pass it up. So I went ahead and went for it because I am going to need five builders to max out this base if it's if it ever happens. So i um, been working on Teslas. I got one more Tesla that I need to upgrade to max. So we will be doing that today. And I've got uh, two Archer Towers going right now. Uh, these all need to go to level 10 anyway. So it's going to take a while. We're going to get our Archer Towers done first before we go cannons and uh, then splash damage. And then we've got a max base. We've already maxed our king. Everything is looking nice. Everything is looking good. All right, so let's find us another base, guys. And the beauty of these Barch and Chill episodes is that you literally Barch and you literally chill. I mean, it is a pretty relaxed thing. Um, normally, we have to edit videos and we have to like make sure everything's perfect and stuff. With Barch and Chill, man, if I say something wrong, I just say, yo, Barch and Chill, you know, it's it's chill. It's chill. All right, so let's, um, again, four-finger deployment. This is how I put them down. We're going to grab all the gold in this base. It's 300,000, which is perfect, all right? And it was also a first search. I'm, I have to remind you of that because it's pretty incredible. It blows my mind every time because um, Gold League is just full and fat lately, and I love it, all right? So level one Barbarian King and a Tesla. We might need another Barbarian. We might need to trade barbarian kings here to make sure we grab this gold mine we've also got some gold right here as well we got one lightning spell trained up i did not boost my spell factory but that's cool um so let's see let's see how much more actually we've already got all the loot there we got two gold oh we got three gold mines on the inside so we have to prioritize which one are we going to prioritize um here um i think i'm going to come in with my king on the corner here he's going to go straight at that cannon which is the main threat right now to him he is going to be hitting this level five wall so he should get through it in about seven or eight hits i think and then we'll pop his special ability and hopefully his barbarians kind of scatter and we get all of the uh the gold so let's uh let's wait just a moment let's wait until the mortar second shot before we pop that ability uh there okay so the barbarians are splitting now. Hopefully we can grab all the gold in both of these mines and we're going to have to either lightning spell down the other or, oh baby, we got both of them. That was awesome. All right, let me lightning spell this last gold gold uh, mine and um, totally, totally worth it, guys, to trade off um, elixir for gold because you can see I've got max elixir and no way to spend it. So there you go, 295 plus 9,000, so just over 300,000 gold, which is exactly what we want, all right? So that was it. And can we, no, boosting will take one. Okay, let's go ahead and boost that too so that we can keep these um, lightning spells churning, all right? Let's get rid of that, put down another earthquake. This will help a lot, actually, and um, I think our king is one gem also. So I'll take it back. I'm not going to spend one gem. There it is. I'm not going to spend one gem. I'm going to spend three still pretty worth it right <laughs> all right so i've got my barch i've got my spells i've got my king and i've got two minutes before i am ready to go so i'm gonna have my first water I actually just finished recording the uh town hall 8.5 guide which is the guide that i'll be following for this base whenever i go to town hall 9 so my voice is already pretty shot but we're gonna we're gonna have some fun today I like the town hall. I mean, I like the uh, one hour Barch and Chill episodes because they're chill. It's kind of like a live stream, but unfortunately, with my crazy schedule in real life, I'm not able to stream lately. Uh, but it's still fun to be able to hang out with you guys and uh, just talk about random stuff. So, our Barch is still going. We got the uh, second Barch started. I've got my queue queued up for the uh the spells which we try not to use spells to be honest with you but if there's easy gold let's grab it we don't need elixir and for those of you that are new to the whole thing top and left are upgraded max buildings the walls are obviously dividing and then the buildings on the bottom and all the right need to be maxed um and actually i can move this builder hut now because i just left it there so that you guys could get a good idea of what we're doing so i don't forget because i would have forgotten had i not left that builder up there by the way the fact that we did get our fifth builder finally and also i can book that wall back now because I updated y'all and showed y'all that I've been doing some work off camera. So that is that. And what else? Uh, 
What else do I need to update you guys on? 30 seconds before the uh, barch is ready, so that's pretty nice. I've got two Christmas trees now. One of them is completely off the border, but it's next to it, so I can keep it. And um, one is on the border, which is awesome. And uh, see, I've got like last year's Christmas tree, and it's halfway off the border, so I, I figured, you know what? It's okay. It's okay. We're going to be fine. I promise. All right, so 13 seconds before we can go out on the warpath and we can destroy some people's faces because that's what we do here, right? That's what we do here. All right, so we're not going to have a king for this uh, particular raid, but we are going to have a barge troop, and that's almost always what you need and almost only what you need most of the time. I, I Like I said, I, I've been bringing in, I've been hauling in and maxing out my gold storage nearly every time I've boosted barge. Especially because of the time of day. Right now it is in the afternoon and um, loot seems to be better for me in the afternoon. I'm an American. I'm in Texas. So if, uh, you know, if you're American, you've probably noticed the same thing. Morning doesn't seem to be all that great. That's just the way it is. I mean, that's, uh, that's sad because that's when I'm most active in, uh, in the game. So <laughs> it's okay. We're going to be okay. Again, we can make this work. I am recording in the afternoon. It is hot outside, even though it's early January. Uh, but again, it's okay. Quit your complaining, class. You're going to be fine. Um, so for those of you OG fans out there that are watching this right now, let me know in the comments how many Barch and Chill episodes you have watched. Because there have been a um, there have been a few now. Um, I think two, maybe three on my rushed account. I know I've done at least one on my main account, and now at least one, maybe two. Is this the second one? I don't even remember. Uh, Barch and chill on my tunnel late. I knew it was gonna be fun because I always get tons of loot on my tunnel late. So I was excited to see what kind of loot we were able to find. Um, it looks like all the gold has been grabbed out of this entire base except for that gold mine there. So let's lightning down that final gold mine and grab 100% of this gold. There you go. Well, not quite 100%. I guess there's a little left in the storage in the town hall. So anyway, closing out of there. And what's great about Barch is it's so simple. I mean, you just basically spam your troops, you take your loot, and you run. You grab the monies, as Godson says. You grab the monies, and then you run away. That's what I do. So 350,000 gold that time. We're having good luck so far. And uh, Barch, what's, what's the deal? Oh, I've got an extra archer. I guess I forgot to wait for her. So let me start this next Barch. There we go. And it's always going to be about three minutes per raid. And that's okay. I promise you, it's okay. Do I already have an Earthquake spell? I do. Awesome. Well, then we can just keep... I don't normally use my Earthquake spell, but it's better than keeping a Poison spell, I've learned. Um, and what a... No, that was for war. I don't need to... I don't need to request. That's the best thing about Barch, too, is if you're, like, chilling and nobody else in your clan is online, it doesn't affect your attack. And it's super cheap, and it's fast, and uh, you can just call me the Barch King for sure. All right, so... Uh, three minutes before this is all said and done, and... We're doing pretty decent, I would have to say. Now, we've already farmed up almost a million gold. Now, I will not be spending all of this gold on walls. I will be spending all of my extra gold on walls. Because today, in this episode, I want to put down my final Tesla. Also, if you look in the laboratory, we still got three days left on the rage spell. I, uh, If I look around a little bit, I think I'll be doing... Like I think I said this last time, I'll be doing the giant next. Let me know in the comments what you think about that. And uh, that's about it. Yeah, that's about it. Also, to address a question that I was given is um, I, I just made a tunnel 8.5 guide. A lot of people ask me about 7.5. And it's, I mean, if you follow this guide, if you follow this Let's Play, you, you, you kind of make a 7.5. I mean, just by prioritizing offense and traps first in your king and your laboratory and not doing defenses until the end, you end up with a you know, a 7.5 essentially. So for those of you that do uh, ask about 7.5 in, in an official sense, I'm not going to be doing that guide, but follow this Let's Play and you'll you'll do that. You will do a 7.5. So yeah, that's that, that that's good. That's good stuff. All right, what else, man? What else? We're getting a uh, lightning spells put down. 91 comments in the in the game chat. I mean, these guys are going nuts, all right? The Knights of Zion. Yes, the Knights of Zion going nuts 34. They're 24/7. I was about to say 34/7. 
There's a lot more. That's a lot more hours than there really is. Uh, <laughs> Soldi, yeah, 2.0, guys. So this is Soldi, Soldi Padel, I think. I don't know how to say his name. I have no clue. But Soldi, Soldi, this is his mini account, Tunnel 8. And he's going to come at this base with a Govaho, which is, it's a good base for Govaho, to be honest, because uh, it's pretty compartmentalized. And as long as you jump or, or you can get into the base, and uh, take out a lot of the core, then a lot of the outside defenses will be distracted on those Valkyries and Golem, and then the Hogs just kind of come in and wreck everything. Um, it looks like he had a minor funneling fail. I hope he can take out that gold storage quickly. There we go. His Valkyries are going in. They're going to go in toward this Tesla farm and the uh, Wizard Tower. The other, the other Valkyrie turned around. That is awesome. And um, now the Valkyries are going to kind of do their thing here. He's got a heal spell down a little early. I, I didn't expect that. I mean, maybe it was necessary. He's got level two Valkyries, um, which is odd. That's weird. He is ranked higher than me. He's ranked 28. I was ranked 30. But he's got level two Valkyries. I've got level... Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah. Level two is max for tunnel eight. I had a, I had a blonde moment there for a second. All right, so we're good. We're good. Free spell doing its thing, of course, or freeze trap, and um, his uh, his defenses or his uh, hogs doing work. So, guys, I have found that using Valkyries and balloons, it's not necessary. I mean, you really only have to throw hogs at the town late base, and you're gonna grab that three star. And I'm 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 kind of worried a little bit about this attack here. Um, let's see. Let's see. You got a whole bunch of these. These are the max hogs, and it looks like those are the only ones that survived. He's got maybe one hog from his original kill squad, so it did. He, he he's not doing so great. He might run out of time here, and if he does, it's gonna be awful. Uh, yeah, um, he's got a, a wizard, a clutch wizard down here doing some cleanup on the trash ring. Come on, Soldi, you got this. By the way, I didn't forget I was barching. I just wanted to cover this attack just for fun. We need to kind of get ahead of the clock. That way we're not sitting and waiting on barch over and over again. So, oh, poison spell, a little premature. Um, swag poison on the clan castle. Um, he's got 20 seconds to wipe out a pretty decent amount of buildings. But I, I think he's going to get it, guys. I am predicting the three start. Let's check the corners. Yes, all the corners have been taken out. He's got Valkyries, which really helps a lot. And if he can... Oh, man. Eight, seven. Oh, he's, he's going to get it. He's going to get it. Come on. Yeah. Three seconds to the end. That was awesome, guys. That was really sick. Good job, Soldy, for that three star. But you scared me. I hope you see this so you know you scared me. Nicely done, man. GG. GG. All right, so let's go in and find another Barch Raid. Um, I've got it ready. It's it's just waiting for me, of course. Everything's always waiting for me. Let's get some water again. Talking for an hour. It gets, it gets to you quickly. That's good stuff. Good stuff. Whew. All right, guys. Whoa, 479,000 elixir. It does, it's sad because I don't need elixir. That's the bad, that's the worst part, is that I'm wasting elixir. But you know, you guys know how it is. At Town Hall 8, you, you don't need elixir much. So you, you, you run out of uses for it. Um, oh, here's a, he's a decent base. It looks like a lot of the loot are in collectors on the inside. This is a Rush Town Hall 9, uh, but it doesn't have Expos. Level 2 King. It's definitely a Rush Town Hall 9. So let's, let's see what we can get. I've got three lightning spells to kind of help us out. So let's do this. Uh, spamming our troops. We just want to, we just want to have a good clean wipe out of the entire base. And of course, I'm expecting there to be Tesla's over there by the Town Hall. Uh, but hopefully not many of our troops get stuck in that trap down there. Um, there's a Tesla barbarians kind of doing their thing. I hope we can take out that wizard tower. That would be great. Can we please? Yes. Okay. Awesome. All right. So the other wizard tower is down. We got a gold mine down here. Uh, where's the other gold mine? Okay. We got two gold mines on either side. It does not look like we're going to be able to grab either one of them because our barge troops are just weak sauce. All right. So um, let's send in our king at this one, and uh, we'll start him on that. Now, these level seven walls are a bit of a pain against the level or the town hall uh, tunnel eight max king. But I think the town hall eight max king level ten, whatever. The second uh, iron fist ability is actually pretty sweet. So come on, buddies, get it, get it, get it. All right, sweet. So let's uh, triple light or double lightning that right there, and that should get us most of the gold in that gold mine. And, um, yeah, not bad, man. Not bad at all. I think I'll use the last lightning on that gold mine just to get as much of it as we could. 
And I'm, I'm going to hold on to my Earthquake spell because... I feel like it. And that was 269,000 gold plus a loot bonus. Not too bad. And again, we don't need the elixir. So it's all good. So I mean, we're finding bases very quickly. We're gaining gold very quickly. And it's awesome. All right. So uh, 18, 17 seconds before our next raid. What is that? Four? Uh, let, me, let me look at my attack log here. Uh, eight minutes, 12 minutes, 16 minutes, an hour and 22. So, so what uh, we've done one, two, three, four attacks so far in the boost, 269, 350, three, uh, 295 and 350. So we're averaging about 300,000 gold, maybe a little bit more than that, which is pretty good per attack. And, um, I'm going to, hopefully we can keep up that momentum. So our, um, Whoa, first search, 430,000 gold. This is the kind of crap I was finding the other day over and over and over again. 400, 500, 600,000 gold, guys. Hopefully, we can find a few of those this time. But let's throw down our barch. And again, because this is a Town Hall 8 base, we really don't have to think too much about it. Um, and if we have to, we can use our lightning spells to grab anything we miss. So let's just see how this goes, guys. It looks like we've got a gold mine kind of in the middle of the base, which is the worst enemy for Barch because they have a hard time getting past walls. If I was to trade out maybe a few barbarians for some archers, I mean, uh, trade out a few barbarians and archers for a few wall breakers, it might help. But um, it, I, I just find that that takes way too much thought. So look at this, guys. We have 100,000 gold in this one mine. So let's go ahead and double lightning that and um it looks like our barch is pretty much dead uh 4, gold left we're not gonna waste a lightning for 4, 000 gold so let's go ahead and close out there 72 percent 426 000 gold with a barch and one lightning spell and a star bonus which you cannot get too much star bonus so that was nice and let's get the um, lightning spells cooking because i forgot to last time so that was our fifth raid guys and we're averaging probably 350,000 gold a piece looking good loving it loving it loving it <laughs> um so oh man guys it's just so good i mean i um the goal currently well, we're in our progress base, so we're good here. The goal currently is to max out our walls as soon as possible. That's, I mean, wh wh why else would I do 70 walls between episodes? Because I want to max out these walls as soon as possible. That way I can just keep all five builders working on defenses constantly. That way, I can, it'll help. I'll be able to relax a little bit more on this account, and I'll be able to focus more on war instead of upgrades. But also, it'll set us up for Town Hall Nine quicker. So I'm hoping to get these walls done within the next week or two. Probably in the next episode or two, we'll be able to have all the walks walls maxed. That way, we can focus on defenses. I mean, like I said, we've got uh, one more upgrade for these two Archer Towers and these two, which are currently upgrading now. Two upgrades left for the Archer Tower, and then two upgrades left for each cannon. So that's 10 right there, one each for wizard towers and bomb tower, one each for the mortars, and then it's all said and done. So I don't know how long that's going to take, but if we go over to the laboratory, uh, we got one that's uh, 5, 2, that's uh, 10, 3, that's 15, 4, that's 20, 5, that's 30. The P.E.K.K.A. is a huge upgrade. Uh, this one's going right now. Uh, this one is 34. This one's 40, 46. 47, 48, 49. So the laboratory should take 49 days to max out. Hopefully by those 49 days, we'll have a max Town Hall 8 base and we can click the button to go to Town Hall 9. That's the big goal, guys. That's the big goal. Actually, the big goal is for this account to eventually be a max Town Hall 9 and we can leave it there for a while because my uh, main account is Town Hall 10 and... Um, I don't think I can handle farming another Town Hall 10. It's it's tough. It's rough. Uh, but it's okay. Like I, like I said, I'm very optimistic, guys. I'm okay. It's all right. I've already upgraded a lot of stuff in my Town Hall 10. I mean, my all of my Elixir upgrades, my offense upgrades, they're all done. And um, now I'm mostly just focusing on... Uh, what am I focusing on right now? I'm focusing mainly on traps. I'm trying to get traps done, but uh, keeping the queen going because I've got her at level 38 currently. If I can get that queen to go to level 39 before the end of the week, that'd be nice. And uh, get her max level 40 for Town Hall 10 as soon as possible uh, because the queen is life, guys. And I hate, I hate upgrading the queen. But of course, you guys don't want to hear about the queen because this is a Town Hall 8 let's play. Uh, there's no queen with the Town Hall 8, so... You don't know what you're missing until you have the queen, guys. It really it really does change your life. I have to admit, it changed my life, all right? 
Oh, man, I miss McQueen. Town Hall 8, let's play. Oh, Town Hall 9, let's play. That's going to be fun, guys. I'm excited about that because I feel like I'm a lot smarter this time than the first time. So uh, this the Town Hall 9, let's play. It's kind of basically 2.0. I'm going to be able to bring a lot more wisdom, hopefully, to the channel than the first time. Uh, but anyway, 3, 2, 1. We've got our barge. Let's get it going. Let's get it going. Um, how much do you want to bet we're going to get it in five searches? That was one. Close. That was two. 383,000 gold. Wow. You know what? A lot of the loot is going to be in the storages, and you can't lightning spell storages. So unless they're on the outside, Barch does not get them. So we're going to have to skip that. Uh, this is the fourth search. Okay, you might win the bet, guys. Wow. 268,000 on a tunnel. Seven. Well, it's not good enough. Looking for that. Whoa! In the sixth search, guys. 414,000 gold. I will take it. Let's take out the corner buildings first. Just so it doesn't distract a large portion of our troops. And we don't need to take out the bottom right section because it's it's just walled in. There's no collectors in mind. So let's do it. Two-finger deployment starting on the top left and working our way around. We'll hold it for a little while and then bring it around. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. So there's the barbarians. And here are the archers. And, of course, we want to make sure we cheat over a little bit so we get that last gold mine. But it looks like this base is going to fall pretty quick, guys. It was obviously a uh, Max Town Hall 7 that just put down its new stuff and then never updated the base design, which is not good for the uh, defender. But, hey, it's good for us, right? <laughs> so uh, the arch is going to do anything. Taking out the uh, clan castle. Taking out the clan castle. Oh, man, all of those freaking archers. Wow. Okay, well, we're probably not going to get that clan castle. But we are getting this gold, sto uh, gold storage, which is good. Nice. Nice, nice. Wow. Mortar. Buddy, what are you waiting? Oh, and the archers are dead. Come on, come on, barbarians. You got this. You got this. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Hurry. Yes. Woo. That was clutch. Man, that was clutch. All right. So let's, uh, that's all we need, guys. Let's close it out and see how much loot we ended up with. That was 399,000 gold plus loot bonus. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a big fan of that. All right. Sweet. Uh, Ooh, man. Uh, what was that, number five? One, two, three, four, five, six. That was number six, guys. And that was the second to biggest loot grab. Two in a row, over 400,000 gold. Now, you're, you're starting to see, I think you're starting to see the real-life journey as a Town Hall 8. Right now, getting loot in Gold League is just... Mwah. It's just... Mwah. All right? You can do it. I believe in you. All right? I just, I do. I do believe in you. All right, so we got three minutes before the next Barch raid is coming up. How are we doing in the war? 23 to 21. Uh, they've used one extra attack. They're doing fairly well, actually, on on attacking. Uh, we got their number ones hitting our number two right now. Their hit on our number one was just a 50%. And barely got it. How about me? Have I been hit yet? Nope, I have not. That's okay. I don't show our defenses, by the way. I don't like to expose our bases. Um, two minutes before we're ready to go. <sighs> guys, how was your New Year's? I mean, I, I had a good New Year's. I we um, We're in a new house, me and my wife, and we're just, we had everybody over for Christmas, and then we took it easy on New Year's. We went over to my parents' house, which happened to be our neighbors, but it's great. It's good. Don't freak out. Like, my parents being neighbors is great. We went over there. We had barbecue. Uh, we didn't do any fireworks. But we, we just enjoyed ourselves. We uh, we played some board games. We played this interesting Monopoly game, card game. It's really good. It's called Monopoly Deal. If you've ever, if you've ever played that, you probably understand. It's a pretty cool game. You know, I like it. Um, and then last night, we watched a movie because uh, we just can. We just do that kind of stuff. So it's really good. It's really fun. New Year's, New Year's was much more relaxed this year than normal. And uh, I'm okay with that. I, I, it was a hectic Christmas. It was a hectic Thanksgiving. You know, so it's good to be able to just sit back, relax, and chill for a little while, especially when you're boxing and you're chilling one full hour. And actually, that makes me wonder, but yeah, we got just under 30 minutes left in our boost. We're halfway done, and we're sitting on 3.4 million gold out of 6 million. So it looks like we're making pretty decent progress, and we've got 400,000 in the treasury. So we're going to collect that probably to do another wall, but... um. We'll see. It depends. It depends because you don't want to. You don't want to collect your treasure unless you have to. It's the most protected. The loot is most protected in your treasury than anywhere else. It's more protected in the treasury than it is in the storages. 
Uh, just uh, just in case you're curious about that. All right, so let's go find another base. Five ba five searches. Let's see. That's one. Nope. Nope. Uh, that's two. Nope. Nope. Come on. That's three. Nope. Three bad ones in a row. That's four. Oh, wow. That's pretty decent. That's a Town Hall 7 with 277,000 gold. Let's go ahead and uh, we can find better. How much do you want to bet? Let's uh, search number five. Come on. Nope. Nope. <laughs> we got a little greedy and we passed up 277,000 gold. But I, I, again, I bet we can find better. So let's see. Uh, bad. Not good. Nope. There we go. What did I say? What did I tell you guys? The best, guys. 458,000 gold. Oh, my goodness. Where is all that gold? Let's take out the uh, the mortar and the wizard tower here. Just to make sure. And the bomb tower. And then we'll be good to go. All right. Bomb tower is down. Now let's get it going. Uh, spreading out our troops evenly among the entire base because the loot is pretty well spread as well. Um, I got my king and my lightning spells. We're going to get all this loot. I mean, what can I say? This is what we do. This is what we do. Um, the archers doing their thing over here. We got an enemy king. No gold on this side. No gold on this side. Where's all the gold at, guys? That's kind of odd. That's uh, kind of weird. Um, gold mine is dropping there. And uh, there's still a lot of gold left. I think this archer might be out of the range, actually. Never mind. All right, fine. Well, uh, we're missing 100,000 gold somewhere. 140,000. And I don't know where. So let's drop our king right there. Oh, man, he's going the wrong direction. Come on, buddy. What's wrong with you? All right, fine. You know what? I'm going to pop a special ability. I don't want to lose him. And we're going to close. 317,000 gold. That's okay. I think all the rest of the loot was in the uh, storages. And that's okay. We're good. 317,000 gold. Still not too shabby. Um, I'm enjoying this, man. I really am. I, I knew. I knew that doing a Barch and Chill on my Town Hall 8 account would be just absolutely gorgeous. And um, it has been. So, um, again, three minutes before the next. That was another raid. That's number seven, I believe. And we're still averaging. We're probably averaging uh, 320,000 or so. Uh, some of you uh, whiz kids, math whizzes out there will probably correct me. That's okay. I, I never claim to be good at math. We even have a hashtag, Klaus Math. It's, it's uh, notorious for being wrong, by the way. So, yeah, it's all good. We have enough loot so far to do the Tesla and one wall. Actually, we got enough for two because we got the treasury. So let's uh, actually let's do all the upgrading at the end of the of the video. Um, two minutes before this is all said and done. A minute and a half actually, because you divide. See that time up there by the little clock up on the top right? You divide that by four, and that's how much time you have left. So six minutes divided by four is a minute and a half. We got a, about ninety seconds before this is done. So uh, war. Any any other ex extra fun stuff happening? Shaker with the fail. Sorry, buddy. Ninety seven percent. Um, let's watch this attack. We'll do it quickly after we see what happened and kind of dissect what went wrong here. Um, I'll go two times. He's going to quad quake. <sighs> quad quake at Town Hall 9. I don't understand it. If you if you use quad quake at Town Hall 9, you need to quit that right now. Shaker, if you see this video, I hope you can taste that salt, buddy, because it doesn't work. Um, uh, jump spell, guys. Jump spell. Now, there are specific cases when you need that extra tile of radius. Um, the jump spell is seven tiles, and the earthquake spell is eight there's situations where you have to have that eight, and um, that's when you need to use quad quake, but it's usually not that way. So it looks like his king, his queen was killed by the enemy queen, which is unfortunate. Um, he's got his Valkyries in. I would have healed them a while ago. He did not do it. He's got his La Loon coming in, which is um, super strong at this Town Hall level 9. Uh, balloons are in. He failed to get this Archer Tower over here. That might have been the main course of, of issues with him. He's got his Lava Hound coming in. Balloons all being spammed all over the place. He failed to kill the Enemy Queen. I think he failed to use his special ability. That's probably what happened here. And if that's the case, then it was a time issue more than anything else. So, um, yeah. He, oh, wow, the Lava Hound is... Come on, buddy. Pop. The Lava Hound did not pop. Okay, well, then that is what went wrong. He he killed the base too well. Um, sometimes if you overdo Lava Loon and your Lava Hound does not explode... Wait a minute, what happened? Oh, okay. Yeah, his Lava Hound just didn't explode, guys. He didn't have the cleanup. But again, I would not have used Quad 
quad quake. I would have used jump and he didn't kill the enemy queen. If he had done all that, th those things, he probably would have grabbed that three star. Um, for anybody that wanted some war tips, there is some of that. Now let's go back and find us another base. And again, guys, the loot has been great. 300,000 golden elixir. You can find that in five searches in most cases. And um, you can find, I mean, like last, the other day, you, you asked my clan mates, the other day I had four 400,000 gold or elixir hits in a row. Wow. Look at this base. <laughs> Man, 441,000 gold. That is crazy. Yeah, we're going to hit this base. Um, But first of all, so I had four 400,000 gold elixir uh, raids in a row, and all four were first searches. It's been nice down here in Gold League, hasn't it? Um, <laughs> So, yeah, yeah. Okay, so gold is down here. We got three. We got four mines on this side. And what about gold over here? We got two on either side. We're going to snipe these two first. So let me throw down my uh, barbarians and my archers. We'll make sure we grab this one first, and then we'll go from there. Let's uh, put down more of these barbarians. We might have a problem because this base is a little bit better developed than the average dead base I run into. Um, it's not even really dead. It's got expo and everything, but you know what? It's okay. So barbarians going down there. I'm just going to clear out some of the barracks and such, and then... Um, Hopefully we can use our arches to grab this gold. See, that mortar is, is upgrading. So I think what happened is this guy put all of his stuff up for upgrades, and then he just was like, I'm out, and he went to sleep. So um, uh, arch is going in, going to grab... No, not that sweeper. What's wrong with you, dude? All right, we'll grab that gold, hopefully the gold and the elixir. Why not, right? We don't need the elixir, but we might as well get it because we can. And we'll grab the rest of this gold, and then we will go we're going to bombard the bottom half of this base for the rest of the gold. And of course... Of course, we don't have enough archers to do this. Um, so, oh, wow, those are outside the range. Never mind. We didn't need those archers. It's okay. It's okay. All right, gold is down. Now, let's do some spamming, guys. Let's do some spamming. Let's put our king down. F oh, no. Let's put our king down first for tanking. Put our barbarians down as well. We're just gonna we're just gonna spam everything, and then archers going down. We don't want to get them near that town hall because I knew there's a Tesla farm there. We don't want to bother with that. So um, all of the gold mines and elixir collectors, and well, all the gold mines are down here. That's what we want. So uh, we got a bunch of archers and a whole bunch of barbarians doing their thing. We're grabbing the gold out of there. We got them out of the two others, and the last one goes down. Pop King special ability. We got all the gold. We still have 190,000 gold somewhere. Probably in the storages, to be honest with you. Um, unless I'm missing a gold mine somewhere. I don't think I am. Um, so that means that now... Oh, man, the king is going to get dominated. All right, let's get out of here. We almost saved the king. 247,000 gold. Not that great, but it's still just below our bare minimum. So I think we did okay there. Um, I should have been leery, guys. I should have been leery because it wasn't a full dead base. But it's okay. It's okay. We will survive, okay? We will survive. Um, uh, what else we got? Soldi got a three star. Michael got a three star against Zane. So let's check out what Michael did. He's also using Golalun, a very powerful attack strategy nowadays, guys. Try it out. Just lay down your golem and your king and your queen. Make sure you funnel and send in your kill squad in and take out the enemy queen and the enemy clan castle. Best if you also get an air defense. If you can do that, then automatically. You have a huge advantage. You have some lava hounds. We're gonna we're gonna soak up the damage from the air defenses, and then you throw down the balloons, which are so powerful right now. It's almost not fair. So um, I've actually attacked this particular base before. It's a pretty common base. So if you ever see this base, this is a good way to attack it. He's got his golem kind of tanking. He's got his king that I think already died. He's got his queen um, and wizards taking out the enemy clan castle, which was dragons and such. And he's got several troops taking a look at that. That's uh, the first air defense down. The queen should swing north now. He's got some bowlers that actually went around the base, which is unfortunate. But his queen's going to take out the second air defense. And now he's only got two more left. And um, he's going to just drop these balloon or these la loon lava hounds and then balloons right behind. And the I love lava hounds, guys. I mean, they soak up damage from the air defense which is the uh, utmost worst troop or a uh, worst defense for an air attack and oh my goodness look at all of those skeletons oh man queen get to work girl put down your poison spell michael what are you waiting for dude put down your poison spell okay come on poison spell please what are you waiting for bud 
This is killing me, guys. I, I'm, I'm dying right now. There, there's the poison spell. Oh my goodness. All right. Well, finally, he kills the the skeletons, and now he's got like three balloons left, and he's got an archer tower, and then a cannon, and that's it. So let's uh, we can quad speed up because we we know the results. But man, uh, if you got a poison spell, put him down, guys. But it was a good attack. I mean, otherwise, it was an excellent attack. His kill squad took out air defenses. His lava hounds popped, and he was able to get the pups doing some cleanup. A good attack overall. That poison spell was the la the only complaint that I have on Michael. So. Very nice, very nice. Um, now we got another bar trade, guys. Let's see how long it takes. That's uh, one. Searching. There you go, guys. Two. The second search, 387,000 gold on a dead tunnel eight. Let's just spam our troops and take the monies. Yeah, you don't even really have to work for this. I mean, this is this is seriously like uh welfare like you just go out with barch and take stuff for free that's that's what we do that's what we're doing we're stealing stuff we're, we're thieves taking the loot away from umut at um that's uh sad to do but it's it is what it is and we've already got all the gold and the elixir now we're just grabbing the dark elixir because we can and that is all she wrote guys i'm gonna leave i'm gonna let my uh troops stay alive because i have three starred bases with barch before um, just depends on the design. I mean, it depends on where the mortars and the wizard towers are. If you can take out all the mortars and the wizard towers pretty quickly, Barch will overpower a base. And uh, it does not look like that's what's going to happen today. I don't need to use my Barbarian King or my Lightning Spells because I got all the gold. So let's keep, let's get out of there. 387,000 gold. Oh my goodness. I love it, guys. I absolutely love it. That was awesome. All right. So starting up our next Barch, we have 15 minutes left. And that is a beautiful sight, guys. If I look up here, 4,400,000 gold. That means we might be able to do, uh, well, we're going to be able to do at least three, maybe even four walls before this barch is over. Maybe even more than four. I mean, honestly, we could do up to six with a, with a, a full gold storage and upgrading this Tesla, which is going to cost 3 million gold. So let me grab some more water real quick. I mean, let's be let's be real, guys. If you are still here with me right now, it is a 45 minute video at this point. And if you're still hanging out with me, you are truly the best. You truly are the best. So I'm going to show you guys something that you probably wouldn't expect. And it's this wall back here. It's not really brick. It's a green screen. You can see the green around my fingers. But look at this. Watch. Las Vegas, baby. But look at this. It's way back there. I'm touching it right now. See? I just think it's interesting because whenever you see a green screen, you automatically assume it's like right behind them, but it's not. A lot of a lot of the times it's back there. And it's it's probably it's probably about five or six feet behind me. So it's pretty impressive. Pretty well, it's not impressive, it's interesting. I wouldn't say it's impressive. Uh two minutes before the Bart is over. Can you tell my voice is kind of trying to give out a little bit? It's okay. We will make it until the end. Let's watch another three star. We got, oh, two in. Remember when we looked in and saw two in attacking? This is a tunnel eight. He's using mass hog. Um, like I've said, it is an incredible attack strategy, guys. And he is, um, what is he doing? Oh, he's, he's taking out this bomb tower. Nice. Nice. Do it again, man. There we go. He took out a bomb tower. And he's just using balloons, guys. I don't really know what he's doing exactly. He does lure a dragon, uh, but he doesn't get the lure on the balloon, assuming a balloon is in there. So, okay, sends in his hogs. Got to take out the cannon. And now, yeah, there we go. Now he's lured the balloon. Let's uh, double overtime because we kind of know what the results are already going to be. Dropping down the archer. He's going to drop a poison spell down and then distracting with barbarians. Wizard's taking out the dragon. The uh, balloon is not in the poison spell. That's a problem. But it's okay because the the wizards do all kinds of work, guys. Now, the, dra the, the barbarian king's not really doing a lot for uh, distraction purposes. But it's okay. He's got his poison spell down or heal spell down in the core. He's got a group coming in from the bottom and his king special ability has been popped as well. And it doesn't look like he's running into anything shady. Clan Castle, Max Hogs, which are 
crazy strong and a final heal spell so they'll take out this uh tesla and then they'll turn around and destroy the king and then that'll be it guys i don't even think he ran into any oh he dropped he popped two giant bombs one over here one over there and uh there's probably one in the north somewhere but he was able to avoid it by simply funneling so very very nice um, taking out the town hall and then the clan castle for the three star. So nicely done to it. Very nice. Love the three star. You know, you never get tired of three stars in Clash of Clans. You really don't. It's awesome. Whew. All right, guys, so we're out for another raid. Let's see exactly what we're going to run into. And uh, as I've said millions of times, the loot is on fire, guys. 496,000 gold and even more elixir. This is crazy. I mean, look at how beautiful this site is right there. Look at that beautiful site. Full elixir collectors and, um, I mean, full gold mines. Where are the gold mines at? Oh, there's two of them right here. Look at this. Full gold mines. That one is full right there inside the wall. Look at that beautiful site. Oh, my goodness. All right, let's barge the poop out of this base, guys. Let's shove this base in the face. I think I said that the other day, and I didn't understand it. All right, so here we go. Four-finger deployment on either side. Here we go. Yeah. And I've got all my lightning spells and my king and everybody to help out in case we miss out on some because we're spam barching. But, I mean, I enjoy spam barching. I think it's fun. Um, well, look at look at the loot dropping, guys. 100,000, 200,000 already. This is awesome, guys. I hate that I'm wasting all this elixir, though. But, honestly, I mean, you guys know Town Hall 8 is uneven and unbalanced. So, it's okay. Like, like I say a lot in this, uh, in this type of series, it's okay. Uh, but we, we got all the gold out of every gold mine except for one. Um, I think I can get it with my king. Let's get it with my king. He's walking right up to a Tesla, an arch tower, and a cannon. So let's uh, pop special ability. Let's get through this wall if we can. Come on. Come on. Yeah. All right. Now he's getting the gold mine. Get it. Get it. Get it. Yeah, buddy. All right, now that is all for the gold mines. I'm sure all the rest of the golds and the storages and stuff, which we cannot get with the lightning spell, so we'll close out of there. And we locked on a 422,000 gold, man. That is just... I love it. I love it, man. I absolutely love it. We got time for probably one more. Let's see. We got nine minutes. That's probably two more. So um, let's just see how it goes. And we got time to go check out another raid in the war. Hope you guys aren't minding me bouncing back and forth between all these. Did I show my attack? I think I, yeah, I did already. Okay, well, um, Soldi Pedal. Hey, 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 hey. This is Soldi 2.0's main account. Soldi Pedal against Niwar. It's a Town Hall 9, I think. Yes, a Town Hall 9 max. Level 30 king and queen. And he is going to go la loon this Town Hall 9 base. So he's got his... His, uh, he's dropped his bowlers first, which is an interesting thing. He's just setting up a massive funnel with these max bowlers. And he's got his golem coming in on the north, um, the north and the northeast slightly. So, interesting to see what he's got going on here. I'm, I'm not entirely sure what he's thinking with those bowlers over there. Um, unless he really just wanted to do some funneling. I'm not sure. Um... He's got his king and his queen in. Golems are in as well. Jump spell allowing him access to a huge portion of the base. Oh, man. Look at this clan castle fail. He got two balloons and two, um, or at least one. Yeah, he's got two baby dragons. Baby dragons are only useful if they're the only air troop, guys. Do not put more than one baby dragon together. And do not put a baby dragon with a loon or a minion or anything. That is, It just doesn't work. Uh, but the king is in. We've taken out one air defense. Or we've taken out two already. I, I didn't even catch that. But we've taken out uh, two air defenses already. And he's got his lava hounds just waiting at the door, guys. So hopefully he can take out a goal, a um, X bow with his queen. But it doesn't look like he's going to get it, unfortunately. But his two lava hounds are in and doing some work right now. Soaking up the damage from both air defenses, which is an excellent thing. And that wizard tower next to the air defense. So awesome job. And um, now the Lava Hound's coming in. He's deployed more balloons on the eastern side just to help out with that. And um, the last air defense drops with a rage spell. It's a good idea to put rage spells on air defenses, I've learned, uh, just for the use of the uh, Lava Hound. Look at this. Lava Hound gets destroyed by those traps. That was terrible. But the good thing is those Expos are set on ground. All he has left are cannons. And that'll be the three-star for Soldi. So very nice. Uh, man, that was a better attack. I enjoyed that attack a lot. I I'm still, I, I might have to rewatch that to figure out why the bowlers were put there, but it's okay. 
I say that a lot, don't I? It's okay. It's okay. Guys, everything is everything is fine. That's something everybody needs to hear on occasion. Everything is fine. All right, now Barch is ready to go. Our king is not alive yet, but he'll be awake for our last raid. Wow, first search, 314,000 gold, guys. I'm going to go for it because uh, why not? And actually, a lot of the gold is down here on the bottom. So what I'm curious about, and I don't do this very often, is can I just snipe? Actually, you know what? No, that's not fun. It's, it's inefficient, but this is more fun to just Barch. To just throw down the troops and destroy everything in the face. Because you know what? We have Max Elixir. We've had Max Elixir for a long time. And we don't need it. So I'm just going to use my troops. It might not be time efficient. But I don't care. So uh, we got all the gold. The Elixir is dropping quickly. Yeah. All those archers working on the Elixir collectors. And that is all she wrote, guys. Wow. Wow. All the loot has been soaked up, just completely obliterated by these troops. And uh, barbarians, good thing the barbarians survive a while uh, because of, well, with those mortars. Because if not, man, it would be rough. Um, yeah, those troops are dead. <laughs> that didn't last very long. All right, let's get out of here. 313,000 gold, to, uh, 395,000 elixir. Man, I am just taking this elixir and I'm dumping it on the ground, man. Just, just, just poop on you you know that's what i'm saying i feel bad not really i don't really feel bad all right and it looks like we have time for one more barge attack so we're gonna wait our uh three minutes for this thing to be up and running and then we can call it a day guys and do our upgrades and all that fun stuff so what was i saying earlier oh there's stark on king eris so uh, let's go watch the three star here it's kind of like a war recap too for knights of zion which is nice so, uh, go Vaho. It's a huge open base, guys. I mean, you get those Valkyries into that core and you're going to gut everything. And, um, I mean, everything's going to be distracted. It's an easy go, go Vaho or go Valo base whenever you have all of your air defenses in one big compartment in the middle. So, I mean, what can I say? It's asking to be dominated. All right. So, Barbarians doing some distracting. He did use Quad Quake, but he's a ton of late, so that's okay. And he used Quad Quake, which means he doesn't have a poison spell, but that's okay too. Like I said, it's all right, because what he's going to do is he has already killed the dragon and the balloon. Really, the poison spell is only necessary when you got a problem with like a Valkyrie in the clan castle or a baby dragon or something really, really fast and powerful. But like a standard dragon in a balloon, nah, no big deal. So Valkyries are in now. He, whoa, a, wow, a freeze trap has been uh, used and he's got a heal spell, giant bomb in the core as well. The golem is doing all kinds of work. That is awesome to see. It looks like he just lost a few Valkyries, unfortunately, unless that was just like some archers or something. I don't know. Um, looks like he had an archer in a clan castle, which is interesting. Valkyrie's just, just wrecking everything. He's got hogs on the outside. Let's speed it up a little. Um, his hogs are gonna in the inside doing work. And he's got one more heal spell, and he's used all the rest of his hogs. So as long as he gets the heal spell down, he, he put him a he put it a little south. I would have put it maybe a little more focused on the um, the middle defense, but he did good. He did good. All right, so the three star for stark very very nice my friend and um yeah i mean we knew it was a three star but it was a good three star it was a nice one and our final barch is still training up good night guys takes forever when i want it to be fast uh <laughs> and it's okay we're, we're, i mean we're boosted so it's pretty fast but it's just not as fast as i'd like it to be we got 60 seconds before it's done so we can wait that long right and we've actually already covered all the three stars in the war so far. So let me go ahead and collect this. And again, guys, if you have been watching this entire thing, I love you so much. You're absolutely incredible. Um, the channel broke 24,000 subscribers on January 1st. And I am so blessed. I'm so blessed. You guys are absolutely amazing. If you watch this entire episode, then you are a true fan. You're you're an OG. You're an original gangsta. And you're my favorite person. I've said that in previous one-hour Barch and Chill episodes. And I truly believe it. I truly believe it. What I'm saying, I mean it. You are my favorite person right now. Thank you so much for watching this entire thing and enjoying a one-hour Barch boost with me. Now, there are other options for 
boot bar, uh, bar, uh, boosts and such. And, and one thing could be like a trophy push, or I I um I bar or I boost dragons, or maybe uh, mass hog or something like that. That's an option, something that we can look forward to in the future. But for now, just because we're trying to get gold and we're trying to get it quickly, barch is still the best way to do it. And so um, there's options for everything. Let me know in the comments what you think about all that. And look at the loot, guys. 423,000 gold. I love it. I love it so much. Uh, let's let's um let's just let's just do two finger deployment on either side. All the loot is on the bottom right and the top left. So let's go ahead and just let's just cater to the base design. We don't need to spam our troops all over the place. We can just kind of spam them in a line down here. Very nice. And what about the archers, guys? Throwing down the archers, getting all that loot, kind of. Uh, and a hypnotic back and forth motion with my fingers kind of put myself to sleep but it's okay so we got we got all the gold get all the gold buddies all that gold oh my goodness now there's 75,000 gold still remaining in the base but I think it's in the storages and the storages are way in the middle we're not gonna be able to grab that but we did grab all the golden elixir out of the store either the collectors and mines and that's what I like to see and actually I'd like to lose this attack because I'm getting a little high in trophies so we're gonna stay down here and enjoy our 348,000 gold man oh my goodness that was just awesome and um, our boost is still one and a half minutes until the end I'll go ahead and start the next one just because I'm gonna do it later anyway and um, I, I don't think we're gonna have enough time we got one minute of the boost left and we have 12 minutes left in the actual training so we'll still have eight minutes left so we're not gonna do that final raid that the last one was the final raid and it was an incredibly beneficial boost guys I mean we are at five million five hundred forty thousand gold and um, interestingly enough, if we collect this, it will not help us. Uh, 400,000 will just put, it, put us at 5,940,000. So I'm going to keep my treasury loot and we're going to spend some loot on the walls, guys. So 500,000 gold, that's uh, we're, how many are we going to do? We get 2.5 million gold to spend. That's five walls. All right, so one, two, three four and we can do one more right yes we can all right and five guys so that's two million five hundred thousand gold on walls and we're gonna start our final tesla upgrade for the base a three million upgrade eight day upgrade and teslas are so powerful i'm so excited about getting this done guys so with the final upgrade of the video let's do this in three two one bam Wow, guys, I'm down to 40,000 gold, and um, it's a sad place to be, but it's okay. We're going to be fine because the next order of business is to get this next arch tower upgraded. Of course, all of our builders are busy, so I got a day and 20 hours to just kind of farm up loot whenever I feel like it, and I don't even have a builder remaining to work on the wall, so I'm going to focus on another account and, um, you know, so be looking forward to maybe a Rust Max account or a uh, Town Hall 10 farming account or... or not account, Tunnel 10 farming video or whatever it may be, guys. But anyway, that is going to do it for me today, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me during this one-hour Barch and Chill episode. Be sure and look forward to the next Let's Play as we put down, um, or I, I might have already done it next episode, but the next thing in the laboratory, finishing up Max Rage Spell, and um, just maxing the base i mean we're everything's pretty much straightforward at, at this point follow the list from bottom to top and max walls and then obviously keep the laboratory busy so guys that's gonna be it like the video if you like to subscribe if you're not join the class family and as always i will see you guys again next time